Story Night is one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And the thing about Story Night is I go from one city to another to another and when I look back at the entire experience, all of it gets jumbled together and so many amazing moments get lost. So this time I'm trying something different. I'm vlogging the entire thing and capturing some of the most powerful moments in something that isn't formulaic at all. Not sure how it's gonna turn out yet, but I hope that it's something that you're gonna enjoy because I'm certainly enjoying this experience. Okay. I feel I'm trying to manage my sense of being overwhelmed because this is a new story night and the seer lectures, you know, deeper look and all that stuff, that's actually easy. Story night is really hard because I have to select what I need to talk about. I need to talk about it in a way that a 10 year old can get it and a 90 year old can get it and everyone in between. A Muslim can get it and a non-Muslim can get it and they all need to stay engaged. So I need to be selective about what I pick on. The language is completely different than a lecture or a khutbah. I tried to iterate and reiterate and reiterate, but I know for a fact until I get up there and present this for the first time, I won't really know how this truly comes out, the product, you know? Because it's just in my experience, I've never really been able to prepare for a talk. It just happens when it, when I get up there, you know? So, because I haven't done this particular one before, that's kind of making me nervous, but inshallah, Allah will start. The other story nights, each story night, I, t I, I, I share it around the world for a whole year. And then I retire. So I did miracles for a whole year, and then I retired. I, I, I had a night to remember for a whole year and retired. I, you know, young and courageous. So I did all these different, so the Rise Above is this new one. I want studying or, or, or learning something about the Quran to be joyful. Like, this is a... Okay, people, when they finish the story night, they're like, are you, why didn't you just go into stand-up comedy? Like, because <laughs> I joke around a lot. And I know I'm not trying to, but I do want to keep the atmosphere light. I, if I can get somebody to feel something tonight, like what I feel when I study this, right? If I feel a joy, then maybe I can, I can make that joy contagious and they can feel that joy, you know? And that, that to me is like, the best thing you could give somebody is they felt happy learning something about the Qur'an, you know? This is a really important story. It's not just an event tour for me, but, but whenever I reach a point where I'm like this, I, people, I need, to, I need to not just talk to a camera, I do that already. I need to meet people face to face and I need to see them hear this. It needs to turn this into an experience, not a virtual experience. That's when I get when I get to that point. Then okay, and the story night comes out.